Locking mysteries of hydrogenosomes, revolutionizing ATP synthesis. Let's explore. Discovering the hydrogenosomes is speculated to have evolved from mitochondria, offering a unique way to generate ATP in anaerobic conditions. Now, driving into this, process of pyruvate is utilized leading to unprecedented energy production and the release of molecular hydrogen. Now, named for their hydrogen producing ability, hydrogenosomes are a testament to the boundless adaptability of cellular structures. Measuring just 0.5 micrometers in diameter, these minuscule powerhouses are a revolution in the understanding of cellular energy processes. Join us as we delve deeper into the mysterious site of hydrogenosomes exploring their role in the cell biology. As you can see in this picture, hydrogenosomes are small organelles involved in the energy capture or conservation in some anaerobic protist. Like mitochondria, hydrogenosomes are bound by a double membrane. They differ from mitochondria in terms of the method used to generate ATP within the hydrosomes. Pyruvate is catalyzed by fermentation rather than respiration and CO2, hydrogen, acetate and ATP are formed. Because ATP is made during fermentation rather than by oxidative phosphorylation, hydrogenosomes do not require extensive internal membrane networks. As you can see here, it is a simple structure devoid of any kind of cristae. In some hydrogenosome bearing proteins, the metabolic products are consumed by symbiotic bacteria and RKE living within the protist. So this is the scenario and this picture tells you how the pyruvate is getting entered into the hydrogenosomes and the pyruvate forms the ATP through the production of hydrogen, carbon dioxide and acetate. So this is a very helpful uh, organelle in case of that anaerobic protist and some of the RKE. So that living also within the protist. So that is very important. So I hope the class is clear with you. And if you have any doubts, please ask me in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe the channel for this kind of informative videos. Thank you.